everyone and welcome to the Whimsy Stamps and Pear Blossom Press Light It Up Video Hop. All of the details are below in the description box, so just click where it says show more and it'll drop down. But the important things to know are Whimsy Stamps and Pear Blossom Press are each giving away a $25 gift certificate to their online store. So be sure to hop along to all of the videos and leave comments along the way. The link to the next person in the hop is at the top of my description box so you can't miss it. Now let's get along to my project, and for the sake of time, I'm going to try to make this quick, but I'll make sure you don't miss any of the important details. I'm going to be making a card using these Easy Lights from Pear Blossom Press and the Totally Snowy Stamp Set from Whimsy Stamps. Now let's head on over to my craft table and get started. I'm using an A2 size card base and some white glitter paper from close to my heart. And using my paper saving technique, I cut the center out of the glitter cardstock and then glued that to my card base. And next I'm going to stamp and emboss the base of the snow globe onto a scrap of wood grain paper and cut that out. And then I decided I wanted to have a glossier look. So I heat embossed that whole piece with clear embossing powder and I think it came out perfect. Next, I started on the top layer of my card using the stamp to determine the positioning of the opening that I'm going to be die cutting because I just happen to have a circle die that is the exact size of the snow globe. After I laid the die and the snow globe base onto the cardstock, I then laid the stamp back over it to make sure that everything was still where it needed to be. And then using my cuddle bug, I cut out the opening. Now I'm not going to throw that circle out because I'm actually going to be adhering that to the card base. And to do that, I'm going to lay everything on the card base so that I know exactly where that circle needs to go. And then I'm going to glue it in place. Then I'll remove my card front and I will set both of those pieces aside and get on to the next part. I'm going to be using Duralar, which is an acetate alternative, but it's heat resistant and so I can do some heat embossing on it. I left the Duralar on the protective tissue paper so that it would be easier for you to see during this process. I used my Misty to stamp the image and then I used my heat gun to heat emboss it. I chose to use white embossing powder because of all the snow in the snow globe. And no, I didn't mess up. I really didn't need to emboss the base of the snow globe. And when it came time to color, I discovered that alcohol ink doesn't color as smoothly on acetate as I would have thought. But then I decided it was perfect because frogs and toads don't have perfect looking skin anyway. But the chalk marker worked great for the things that I needed to color white. So next I decided that I wanted a sparkly white ring around the outside of the snow globe to give it a little dimension. So I used some white glitter paper from close to my heart and a couple circle dies and got exactly what I was looking for and glued that on. And then I glued on the base of the snow globe. And now it's time to add a piece of acetate to the back side of my top piece. And I used a fabric softener sheet to wipe it down to eliminate some static electricity. And I used double-sided tape to attach it. And then I added the piece of acetate that has our snow globe and our cute little toad. And I also used double-sided tape to do that. And here he is. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, now it's time to turn that into my shaker element, and I'm going to do that by adding two layers of foam tape around the snow globe opening, and then I'm going to add my shaker elements, which are this glitter that has white and silver in it, and also some white sequins. Then I removed the protective layer off the foam tape and added a piece of acetate on top of that, creating my shaker element. So far, I think everything is coming together beautifully. Now all I have to do is figure out how I'm adding the lights to this. Okay, it's time for me to be live on camera. We've got the shaker element done, so yes, it looks like I'm going to do a light up shaker card. And I want to show you what I'm going to be using next. This is called Vertigo, and it's by Imagine Crafts. And I've had this for years and years and years, and actually I'm using it for the very first time. Um, I'm going to put a link below in the description box, but it won't be to this exact pattern because I couldn't find it. But this is what it looks like. It is see-through. You can actually stamp on this and color on this. But what I'm going to be doing with it is I am going to be adhering it right here to the back of the card, right behind the shaker area. And to do that, I'm going to be using my Beacon 3-in-1. So, 
Let's get that done. Okay, now I have that on there. Doesn't that look really cool even from the back? Okay, so if you're wondering why I put that on there, it's because I really wanted it to have more of a water look. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it does. It just looks like water swirling around in there. And so now the next thing to do is to add the lights and the little battery pack. And to do that, the first thing you need to decide is where you're going to want this little push button at. And I know that I want mine right over here. So I'm going to be adhering this down right there. And I'm going to use some double-sided tape. Let me grab it here. Just a little piece of this. I'm using half inch just because I think it's the right size. So let me just put this across the back. There we go. I got it on there. That double-sided tape was giving me fits. Okay, so now I'm going to take the battery and I'm going to slide it right in that little opening for it. Just so you can see the lights light up. So what I need to do now is I need to figure out where I'm going to put each of these lights and I'm going to tape them into place and then I am just gently going to curl up the um, excess wire and tape it down. Now it may take me a few minutes to go through and just kind of decide where I want to put it, but when I do, I will show it to you. Okay, so I decided where I wanted to put them and I used double-sided tape to hold them down. And I'm also using double-sided tape to hold the wires in place out of sight so that they're not visible through the shaker or, you know, out the front of the card. And I've already taped this one down and I've also taped another one down up here in the corner. As you can see, I just gently curled it. And I saved the last one to show you how easy this is to do. So again, I'm going to use a piece of double-sided tape and I'm going to start over here and kind of get this out of the way right here and put a piece of tape right there to hold that down. And then I'm just going to bring this over to right there and use some double-sided tape there. So let me grab a piece, probably grabbing 10 times more than I need, but better to have too much than too little. So I'm just going to tape this right across there. And I can trim off that little excess that just went over the edge or actually even just roll it back. And I think I'll put another, you know, actually I'm not going to put another little, yes I am. I'm basically I'm going to be putting some of the double-sided foam tape there as well. So I really probably don't need as much as I'm using, but we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm going to peel off all of this and then I'm going to add some double-sided foam tape just right across here so it's kind of even with the battery pack and it'll be just as thick as the foam tape that was used for the shaker so it'll actually be two layers. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all the backing taken off the double-sided tape and I've got two layers of foam tape right here and I'm going to peel off that protective layer as well. And then we're going to be attaching it to the card base. And to do that, I'm actually going to use my Beacon 3-in-1 because I want to make sure that I have some wiggle room and also because there is a little texture to that. Um, you can actually hear it. Hold on. Yeah, there's a little texture to that um, that last thing I put on there. The um, yeah, Vertigo. Couldn't even remember the name of it. So... I just want to make sure that it adheres really well. So I'm even going to put a little across the foam tape, a little bit right here across the battery pack. And then I'm just going to go right around the edges. And then we're going to line that up on the card base. So, oh no, don't do that. Last thing you want is a string of glue going across there. Okay, so I'm sticking all over the place here. 
I don't want glue on everything. Let me wipe my hands really quick here. Okay. So flip this over carefully. And here's the front of the card. This is the part that goes down behind the, um, the frog. And wish me luck doing this on camera because I really like to get things lined up perfectly. And sometimes that's hard for me to do if I can't get my head directly over something. But I actually think I have it. Oh my gosh, do I actually have it? If I do, it's really cool. Okay. Looks like I got it. Woohoo! Lights up. Okay, so I'm going to go do a couple more things off camera. I'll be back. I'm going to put something right here. I'm going to add some snowflakes, and one of them is going to say push, so they'll know to push there. So I'll be right back with the finished card. And here is the finished card. I added some sparkly snowflakes here, and that's where I put the push button. And if you're wondering what's sticking out here that says pull and remove, that is a piece of cardstock that is three quarters of an inch by an inch and a half. And it just slides right between the battery and the connectors. And that prevents it from lighting up during um, mailing, if you're mailing this to someone, because you don't want the battery to wear down before they get it. But when they get it, they can pull and remove and then push. And now it lights up. Isn't that awesome? And I also added this label that says All Shook Up. And that's also from the stamp set that I used today, which is Totally Snow from Whimsy Stamps. And I thought that was absolutely perfect because look at him. He is all shook up, especially if you're shaking that snow globe around. So I just love the way this turned out. And I'm really happy that I got to share this with all of you. And I want to say thank you to my husband because he encouraged me and told me that he knew I could find a way to make this a light up card and a shaker card. Thanks for hopping along with us today. And don't forget that all the information you're going to need is below in the description box. Just click where it says show more. And also don't forget to leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. And if you're watching this after the hop is over, thank you so much for stopping by and happy crafting everyone. Bye bye.